Seven Republican presidential candidates facing off in a contentious and at times chaotic debate. The frontrunner, former President Trump, skipping the showdown to campaign in Michigan. His rivals Chris Christie and Ron DeSantis repeatedly noting his absence. Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. He owes it to you to defend his record where they added $7.8 trillion to the debt. Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on this stage and defending your record. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. On abortion, DeSantis demanded Mr. Trump explain his recent comments on Meet the Press when the former president criticized the Florida governor for signing a six-week abortion ban. I think what he did is a terrible thing and a terrible mistake. To try to say that pro-life protections are somehow a terrible thing. I want him to look into the eyes and tell people who've been fighting this fight for a long time. Former Vice President Mike Pence taking aim at President Biden for joining striking auto workers in Michigan. Joe Biden doesn't belong on a picket line, he belongs on the unemployment line. And Vivek Ramaswamy, who tangled with rivals in the first debate, acknowledging his critics. You see a young man who's in a bit of a hurry, maybe a little ambitious, bit of a know-it-all, it seems, at times. Still, his rivals pounced, Tim Scott seizing on his business dealings. I can't imagine how you could say that, knowing that you were just in business with the Chinese Communist Party and the same people that funded... Hunter Biden and Nikki Haley targeting his use of TikTok. This is infuriating because TikTok is one of the most dangerous social media apps yes, that is. we could have. And what you've got, I honestly, every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber for what you say. We asked Ramaswamy about that exchange after the debate. The core argument that Nikki Haley seemed to have against you, the core yeah. argument that she has a grudge against me that I don't have a grudge her against her. It's a one way grudge. She can't trust you, that voters can't trust you. What do you say to that? She said I made her dumber. And well, I'm there sorry. was that too. That's the first time I've ever heard that. Okay, so what kind of reaction did we see from the former president? Was he watching? His campaign says he wasn't watching, and the Trump campaign has argued that it's time to move past all of these primary debates and rally around him, the front runner, to focus on Joe Biden. But they also focused some of their energy on attacking Nikki Haley, not just their usual foil, Ron DeSantis, suggesting that the Trump campaign thinks there might be someone else in second place soon. Savannah? I guess in politics that passes for a compliment. <laughs> Garrett, thank you very much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.